Welcome to the Reward Stamp App Demo. In this video, I will show you all available reports in Reward Stamp App. The first and most important section of the report is loyalty metrics. There are four major metrics we measure for customer loyalty. First report in this section shows all four metrics. It shows metrics value since your reward program started. And remaining four report shows month by month progress for those metrics. Let's see which are four important metrics we measure. The first metrics is repeat purchase rate. This metric shows the percentage rate of your repeat customer. It means what percentage of your customer is a regular customer. If the percentage ranges between 20 to 40 percent, then the repeat purchase rate is good. You should look to improve these metrics to improve your revenue. The second metrics is redemption rate. This metrics give you a percentage of your customer who is redeeming your offers. This gives you an indication of how good your offer is. If this number is less than 20% then you should look to improve your offer. This indicates that your customers are not interested in your offers. They might not feel your offer good enough to get redemption. The third metrics is revenue per customer. This metrics indicated how much revenue you are generating per customer. This metrics helps you optimize your service and products by increasing revenue per customer. Keep eye on this metrics to make sure you change your offerings to increase revenue per customer. Remember that this metrics is only available if you enter invoice amount while rewarding your customer. The fourth metrics is average order value. This metrics indicates how much money customers spend on a single visit. There is no ideal number for this metrics. In general more the better. You should aim towards increasing this number by upselling. Like previous metrics, this metrics is only available if you enter invoice amount while rewarding your customer. The second section in the report is customer activity. Currently it has one report which shows who is the top regular customer. This report shows which customers most regularly visits you. These are really your loyal customer. You should use them as your advocate of your business. You look to entertain and encourage them so they can be the walking advertisement of your business. I would suggest every business should have some of those very regular customers who advocate for you on their circle particularly on social media. Next two sections in report namely summary and detail report. Both reports show similar information presented in different way. Summary report shows information in aggregated for time point. Whereas details report shows information for individual time point. For example, if you select a weekly report for the period of one month. Then, in summary, it will show Monday to Sunday with average reward redeem. Where in details report you will see Monday to Sunday repeated at least four times with reward redeem for an individual day. This report helps you identify various critical information about your business. For example, it can give the below information. Most and least busy hour of the day. Most and least busy day of the week. Most and least busy day of the month. Most and least busy month of the year. This helps you to improve your business by promoting your business, by adjusting your staff, or by changing your business timing, etc. If you collect data for enough period of time and optimize your business according, then you can achieve maximum revenue with the minimum resource. As I mentioned, the only important condition for best business optimization is data collection. You must allow data to be collected for a long enough period to measure this. I would recommend at least six months to see and identify trends in data. That's all for this video. Hope this helps you with your journey with Reward Stamp App. Thank you for watching it.